Hello and welcome to today's video. So this time we're going to be taking a look at recent TV tie-in paperbacks as sold on eBay. And we start with an impressive collection of Star Trek photo novels, which uh, these always go for good money when they're in really tip-top condition. And these certainly fit the bill. Interestingly, this was an American seller, yet Volume 1, a bit like mine, had the Corgi overstamp on it, not the Bantam one. Uh, but these are really, really nice with very nice bright white spines. Nice set, that lot. That's the way to have them. 229 Canadian dollars, that lot. This is the still the collectible Star Trek paperback, DS9, um, number 27, by Andy Robinson, who played Garrick in the series. Big, thick book, this one. Regularly goes for £80, £90 pounds when it um, gets online. Stitch in time. And this is quite a nice little job lot. Uh, a few multiple copies there of uh, James Blish paperbacks. $90 for the whole lot. Didn't seem too bad. Don't know why they've amassed so many copies of the same book, but um, they are very good, I suppose. <laughs> a few odd bits and pieces as well, a few log books and that. $90, that lot. This is, I thought, not too bad. This is a box set, um, a slipcase of the first eight. Really love that sort of 70s artwork. It's great, isn't it? Really unique. Nice mint copies inside. Often the case with slipcases. $22.95. Not bad, eh? This is interesting. This was a lot of 70 vintage Doctor Who paperbacks. Nothing particularly rare. Um, and I wouldn't say they were in top condition, but $500 this went for, which is much, much more than they should have gone. Um, it seems uh, whoever bought these paid quite a bit over the top for these. Admittedly, a few odd rare ones there, um, but $500, don't know about that. This is nice. This is the first Survivors paperback by Terry Nation. Signed by Terry Nation. First one of those I've ever seen. The photo of him next to Paul Darrow and uh, Michael Keating from Blake 7. There we are, to Eve. Love Terry Nation. I would have really have loved to have uh, met Terry Nation myself. Never got to see him in the flesh. This is a surprise. $100 basically for this it's the uh, the JNT Doctor Who producer um, absolutely amazing book this is not the first printing this is like a second or third amazing book I urge you to get a, a copy of this it's unput downable fantastic book 79.99 one of the rare Doctor Who the missing adventures this is the dark path David McKinty showing uh, Patrick Tratton with the uh, the Roger Delgado first incarnation of the master Eva the Daleks, once again $79.99. I think this is way above what this one should have gone for, but you never know, you know, on these buy it nows, people just click the button, don't they? And this was interesting. This is so um so violet a sin, but it's not the original, it's a 2015 Dwas reprint. So it's not the original of this one, but still quite pricey. And one uh, you know, any copy of this is worth picking up. But yeah, £75 for that one. And it's not the original. This is a surprise. The Romans, the blue spine version of the Romans. I know some of these blue spine reprints are quite expensive and sought after. But I wasn't expecting it to go for uh, £120. Oh, £75, I take it back. Still expensive though. Another one from Paul Cornell, Time Worm Revelation, part of the New Adventures series. £70 for that one. This is nice, this is the original Panther, the Dalek pocketbook from the 60s. Great period piece, this one, not in the greatest of conditions. And um, I think these are probably getting quite tough to find. A really nice nick. That was just under 60 or best offer. Here's a pair alongside uh, Doctor and the Daleks by David Whittaker. Once again, neither of them in the greatest of shape. Nice 
60 pounds or best offer this is the uh, making a doctor who piccolo one 28 pounds 50 tough book to find in nice condition very very difficult to find in top shape this is uh the making of survivor's book not strictly a uh, tv time but i thought i'd include it here fourth horseman i think it's like a survivor's fan club possibly but very very good book i've got it myself um this is the pair of the survivors paperbacks not in the greatest of shape 25 pound the pair that's probably about right in that condition second one's harder to get than the first but both uh, both a good read actually this is a surprise 69.95 for the the only british language champions novel i believe there are some french ones but I've uh, never seen those. But that's the one and only British one, and that's big money for that. And once again, not in the greatest of shape. £120 for four Avengers books. Admittedly, nice condition copies, but £30 each? I don't think so. That's way above going rate. As is this, £125.99. Bananas money, and I thought, well, that must just be a one off, you know, someone's uh, just, I don't know, just doesn't really know the value and paid, you know, way over the odds. But then look, another one's gone 110 or best offer, and an offer's been accepted. This is a much better copy, a real minter, this one. Absolutely fantastic condition, but 110 or best offer? Phew, seems a lot. This, on the face of it, looked good. You know, sort of 10 Avengers books, $60. Starting off all right. Then it goes into the 70s New Avengers ones, which have all got, like, tape and sticker marks on. Not such a good deal after all. Hmm. This is a lovely run. $90.00. For 21 Man From Uncle books. I could only see one that was in a slightly iffy shape. The rest of them looked in excellent condition. Very, very nice. Very colourful run to get together. I think generally prices for Uncle stuff is not as great as it perhaps once was. Um, but the books are quite a fun series to get together, particularly the American ones. They're quite hard to find in the UK. This is the Lost in Space tie-in. Absolutely minter of a copy, this one. $15.95. About 10, 10, 11 pounds. I would have paid that for this one. This one I haven't got. And it's a really, really nice high-grade copy, that one. This is the Time Tunnel equivalent. Slight bit of age toning, but still very nice. $15. While we're at it, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. I think I've got this one. This one's signed by Theodore Surgeon. Mine is definitely not signed, so that's quite nice, isn't it? Nice copy as well. $35 or best offer, pretty good. Uh, this is the second Land of the Giants, only went for $10, and there's a couple of these. There are British editions with different jackets, but they're uh, just a few pounds each. Not exactly uh, hot collectibles. The Invaders, book three, $24 this went for. Um, I think the Invaders books, the British and American editions, have got scarce. And uh, they just seem to have dried up a little bit. Which, you know, maybe they just didn't sell as big as some of the other ones. There's book two, a bit of a cheaper price on this one. But the American ones, don't often see them over here. $250 for a nice run of Babylon 5 paperbacks. These are all long out of print now. I think the tail end ones are even harder to get than the earlier ones because they were more direct market than uh, mainstream. You forget these are 25 years old now. <laughs> it's crazy. Here's another little run of them. Not quite as many, but I think Babylon 5 is one of those series that um, has matured like a fine wine. $100 for that little lot. 
This is a run of Quantum Leap books. $195 for this little run. I don't believe that's them all. I'm pretty sure there's some more beyond that. Good to see that, like that. Big collection. A collection of V books now. $80.99. Once again, pretty sure that's not them all. 11, there's more than that. Not many more. I think there may be about 14, something like that. I remember the last few I had to get took a bit of tracking down. But on the whole, not bad books, those. Knight Rider. £12 for that set of four. I didn't think that was bad at all. £3 each. That's not too bad, is it? Pretty nice copies by the look of it. So not massively collectible on the face of it. The same can be said for the 18. This is a little collection of 18 books. Colouring book's got a bit of colour in him, but £26. This is interesting. This is the very first $6 million man book, Cyborg, Martin Cade. And this is what the series was based on. Quite a key book to get your hands on this, so keep an eye out for this one. $80.99, or best offer. Here's book two. Actually shows sort of a, a lightning to Lee Majors on the front. $30 or best offer. Here's another Sweeney Books. $47.99. Once again, not all of them, but a nice little run. Not the greatest of condition, but not bad. So not a bad little lot, that. And... Uh, you know, those Sweeney books, if you've not read any and you like the series, it's worth tracking them down. They're pretty good. Here's another batch of Sweeney books. This is $44.99. Includes the Book Club hardback, Regan and the Deal of the Century, which is quite scarce. Recently Departed, Dennis Waterman. This is his hardback autobiography. I don't think it ever came in paperback. Signed. First edition hardback from... 2000 went for 30 pounds this is the very first sweeney where they spelt the sweeney wrong they left out an e alongside the sweeney too so quite a nice highish grade pair those are the first two sweeney books 12 pounds 60 not bad this is a run of the professionals i believe that's the full set of 15 in reasonably decent condition, no other photos sadly. 36, 37, not bad. This is six of, uh, I think there's 10 Kojak books, so not the full set. These are the American ones, don't often see them over here. Although we did have some British ones by Star. $40 those. This is a scarce Columbo book, $29.99 this one went for. The Dean's Death, a popular library. That's quite scarce, I think. £20 for a batch of Red Dwarf. Admittedly, fairly low-grade copies of these, so nothing to write home about. But even so, you know, we're covering TV tie-ins. I didn't want to miss out on Red Dwarf, and uh, there they are. Yeah, a few low-graders there. A pair of Minder books, keeping the Dennis Waterman theme. Can't imagine these are too difficult to get hold of if you really want them. Fifteen pound, and a cool little Rockford Files book as well. So I hope you have enjoyed this whistle stop tour through a few vintage paperback TV tie-ins. I really do love these, and uh, I'll do these once every few months. And there's this British one there for twelve dollars as well. Do make sure you've hit the subscribe button, and thanks very much for watching today. And I'll see you again very soon with another video. Bye.